Okay, so if I had to choose one, whether it was the Hypervolt Go or the Theragun Mini as my go-to travel massage gun, which one would I choose? Well, that's a really hard choice. So I've tried both of these massage guns for at least two weeks each and put them through their paces. Now, I chose these mini massage guns from Therabody and Hyperize specifically because I honestly believe that these are the two top quality massage gun brands out there. I even did a comparison video last year of their larger two mid-tier devices of the Theragun Prime and the Hypervolt, and I was sold on both brands. For deciding on the best portable massage gun, I measured both of these on categories of form factor, functionality, and fun features, the three Fs. Starting with category number one, form factor. Both the Hypervolt Go and the Theragun Mini were built for ideal simplicity and portability. I mean, it's in both of their names. You have the Hypervolt Go and the Theragun Mini. However, each brand took a different approach to their designs. The Hypervolt Go took after its older brothers with an L-shaped form factor and a sizable grip handle, but the Theragun Mini, on the other hand, adopted a new design to their lineup, but still kept to that triangular type shape, which their brand is known for. They both only have one physical button that powers the device on and off and adjust the different massage speeds. They also have light indicators showing the different speed levels as well as their battery life. Both devices are similar in weight with the Hypervolt Go being around 1.5 pounds and the Theragun Mini being slightly lighter at 1.43 pounds. Now specs aside, when I look at both of these devices, I love how the Hypervolt Go has a more modern look and feel compared to the Hypervolt and the Hypervolt Plus. However, I feel that the Theragun Mini is more compact and it's tad bit more solid and firm. I also think the triangular shape is a lot more effective for me when it comes to reaching those hard places to reach on my back and my shoulders, so I think I'd give the edge to the Theragun Mini when it comes to form factor. For the second category, functionality, this narrows in more to how exactly both of these massage guns work and their effectiveness in relieving muscle soreness. So the Hypervolt Go operates at three percussion speeds starting at 2200 PPMs and goes all the way up to 3200 PPMs versus the Theragun Mini, which starts up at 1750 PPMs and tops out at 2400 PPMs. To be honest though, you really can't tell the difference between the two when actually using each device. The one thing I did love about the Hypervolt Go was that it actually came with two different attachment heads. The first being the flat head, which is great for general use. So thinking about the bigger muscle groups, such as like your thighs, your glutes, your hamstrings. But then they also provided the smaller bullet attachment head, which is really good for reaching those hard to reach places and getting those real true trigger points. The Theragun Mini only came with the standard ball attachment, which is good for general areas across the body. Fortunately enough, I had the other heads from my Theragun Elite. So it's good to know that it's compatible with those other heads. Now, in terms of battery life, they both stay around two and a half hours, which I would say is fairly accurate. And honestly, I would say that they would last three or four days without needing a recharge after using it moderately for about two or three times out of the day. Now, the one aspect that is super important to me when it comes to a massage gun is sound, especially having something that is supposed to be portable where I can just use it anywhere. I definitely think having a device that is pretty quiet is very important. This is where I would say that Hyperize and the Hypervolt Go has really mastered in making devices fairly quiet at lower speeds. Using the Hypervolt Go at its level one speed of 2200 PPMs was definitely a pleasing experience because I didn't find the sound distracting. As you increase the speeds, the device does tend to get a little bit louder because the device is working harder to reach that higher PPM. The Theragun Mini, on the other hand, starts out the gate pretty loud, even at level one, and it gets fairly louder at the higher levels. I would say that it's maybe only a tad bit quieter, if not the same from my Theragun Elite. So ultimately, I would say the Hypervolt Go actually wins in the second category of functionality. And for the third and final category of fun features, I like to look at all of the external factors surrounding each device. First off, with the Theragun Mini, you can get three different colors, including white, red and black and in the box it comes with a handy small case which is super useful given the fact that it's supposed to be travel friendly. Unfortunately the Hypervolt Go is a little bit more on the basic end. It doesn't come with a case. It's not available in different colors but it did come with the two attachments that I mentioned earlier which is helpful from a versatility perspective. Now both brands they come with their own respective apps. However both devices don't have Bluetooth compatibility. For me this should have just been a given for both devices. However it is still good that you could still use the apps as a guide or reference when going through the different massage therapy routines. You just won't be able to control and adjust the speeds through your phone or Apple Watch like the more advanced models. I still think the Hypervolt 
edges out in the app interactivity department because it seamlessly integrates with your Apple health metrics, recommending routines and sessions depending on the workouts you complete and your activity throughout the day. It also has really high quality in-depth videos giving you an example of a walkthrough of somebody using the device. Now, Therabody, they've made big strides in their app, including better visuals, a health kit integration, but I feel like there's a little bit more to go in the software department. Overall, if I was to be honest, I think they would both tie in this category of fun features as they both have pros and cons that seem to balance each other out. So ultimately, which is the best portable massage gun that I recommend? Well, I would break it down like this. For the Hypervolt Go, I would purchase this if having a quieter device was my main priority, or if I wanted to make this my main massage gun since I don't necessarily have to purchase any additional heads because it comes with two. I would also purchase this if I was comfortable traveling without a case. Now for the Theragun Mini, I would purchase this for ultimate portability because of the fact that it's a small form factor, it's compact, it comes with a case, which makes it easy to travel with, throw around in your gym bag. That's when I would go for this one. For me, I chose the Theragun Mini. The reason being is because I already had their other attachments with my Theragun Elite. It just made sense to choose this one, even though I think I would have been just as happy with the Hypervolt Go. Regardless, I think both of these would be a great purchase as they're both only $200, which is a great entry into the massage gun market compared to the premium models, which range anywhere between 350 and up. If you're interested in purchasing either the Hypervolt Go or the Theragun Mini, feel free to check the links in the description box below for the cheapest places to buy them. As a quick caveat, those links also provide a nice little kickback to support the channel, so any support would be greatly appreciated. I hope this video was super helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, stay healthy, stay productive, and embrace the hype. Woo!